if you want an easy way to get roots onto your tom-tom, uh, the new 550 is wireless. And you can create them on my root app and download them straight to your TomTom My Drive and they'll appear on your sat nav a couple of minutes later. Here's how it's done. Okay, if we go to my root app, I'm going to show you how to create a map, create a route, create some waypoints on that route, and save it direct to my TomTom My Drive account and it'll appear wirelessly on my TomTom nav device. So that's a real quick demo. So my root app and up comes my screen I've got friends on my network there any maps I create I can share with them I'll knock that off so for instance I'm planning a four day tour around Scotland that's my day two just appearing up in some history there but if I look at routes and I want to create a route so it'll show me my list of routes here I'm going to go new route here we are and I've allowed it to know where I am but let's say new route um, let's call it showing waypoints or just waypoints but I mean it could be you know going from you know day one Scotland whatever it means I'm gonna make this private for now public would make anyone be able to see it using my route app friends would just if you have a friends list but it's a, that's a great way of sharing the maps and stuff so everyone can download it to their GPS device I'm gonna leave it private for now because I don't want anyone else to see it because I'm just gonna muck around with it and then delete it so it's gonna pick somewhere close by me in Ireland it's normally a little bit faster than this. It's just because um, I'm using some screen grab software and it kind of slows the PC down a little bit. Right, so let's say I'm going from Allenwood there. A L E N. Let's just say that's my starting point. Okay. It takes the name directly that's found off the map, map, but you can call these waypoints anything you like. So when they're appearing in your sat nav, there's something you know. So you can just say start. Well, it could be your first waypoint from because you know where your home is or you know where your start point is. Um, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's just call it first, first waypoint. Okay, so that's our first waypoint. I'll shorten the map a bit and let's say I'm going right okay I want to get to Belfast but I want to go a little bit of a scenic route if I just choose Belfast as my second waypoint the software will just choose the fastest route there in the same way that my sat nav would so I'm going to say mm, okay I fancy going via these lakes in Virginia so I'll zoom in. I'm going to pick that road on there. Okay, I can call it Virginia Lakes. So your waypoints can mean something to you. Now, if I scroll back, um, maybe I want to cross the border around here because there's some more lakes here. So maybe I want to go from via Newtown Butler. So I could type in Newtown Butler or just pick it on the map. I'll go Newtown Butler and a skilling. So it's just across the border in the north. I can shorten that. I don't need all that on my waypoint info. Okay. And it zoomed into the place that my waypoint was. And then let's say, right, okay, my end stop is Belfast. I'd, I'd have an actual address, but this, in this case, I'm just going to put Belfast. County Andrew, Northern Ireland. Okay, I'm just going to short this for Belfast. Now, this will just take me to the official city 
send desktop of Belfast. I'd have an actual address, but just for the purpose of this demo, it's not worth doing that. So now you can see I've created a route with waypoints. So they're not necessarily, waypoints aren't necessarily places I'm definitely going to stop, but it's forced my route and it just means that instead of just piling up the motorway, which there's an M1 all the way up, like there's an M1 from Dublin all the way up to Belfast, it's going to take me a bit more of a scenic route that I want to go. So I've done that route, but at any stage I can go into that route and drag it and say, uh, yeah, maybe I want to go through this road here. I'll just accept the default address and it's recalculated the route that's great but if I still wanted to go through here I can add as many waypoints as I like to really force the route you know if I wanted to go you know from three waypoint three if I want to get to this junction go up to that junction go around there down that road back down there I can add as many waypoints as I like within reason so there's my routes and if I go back to my route lab or just routes I could have gone to I didn't want to go to Root Lab actually. No, I just wanted to go to Roots. Here's my route I just created, waypoints. It was 272 kilometers. It's going to take me 3 hours 26 minutes to drive it. Um, then what I can do is I can clone this route and modify it. So for instance, I'm going to Scotland for 4 days uh, on day 3. I have a slightly cut back day to uh, 6 hours 47 minutes in the saddle, 409 kilometers, just in case this day three, just in case by the time I'm getting to day three I'm getting a bit too tired and I don't want an eight hour day in the saddle, that's actually riding time, let alone your stops for fuel and stuff, it just depends. So you can clone or just copy routes and modify routes. So anyway, I've just created this route called Waypoints, it's 272 kilometers. That's about three and a half hours it reckons it'll take me. Now if I click on this route, it'll open it back up. And if you've got a paid for version of my route app, I'll have to wait for it to come up. Okay, so uh, as I say, I'm gonna save this. Save to Tom Drum my, my drive. It's in beta, but it actually uh, works perfectly well. I'm just going to send, and that sent it directly to my My Drive account, which is PC based or cloud based, if you like. And now when I switch on my TomTom Tom Rider 550, that has a wireless connection. You don't need to connect it to your PC anymore to do updates or download new maps or anything like that. But now if my uh, sat-nav has wireless access, whether it's in a McDonald's or you know in the house or at work or wherever it is, it's going to pick up this map and there's a, there's a folder specifically for routes that you create. Uh, you need to have an extra... Uh, memory card in the TomTom Tom 550 because it must be stored separately from the maps any routes that you download to it but I mean they're cheapest chips these days so that's it the next bit we'll uh, have a look and see where it turns up in my sat nav now here's my TomTom Tom. there's a barking dog and no neighbor's card so TomTom's been on three or four minutes so connected to the home wireless if I go to menu now go to my routes There it is, there's my waypoints, and there's my route, right, let's go, and we're off, easy done. Other handy things you can do in your route, you can obviously modify your route, let's say you're on day three, and you're thinking, oh this isn't going well, or you found out about something somebody recommends you can always add more uh, waypoints so let's say someone says ah, come and stay with me here I live in Orga or Orga A -U -G -A -G -R. I can uh, I can click on that I'll say yeah 
John's house. If I could spell John. John's house. Say so right. <clears throat> but say, oh yeah, I actually know John's house is here though. So I can pick up this waypoint and move it there, down to that lane. Oh, and John lives in the bungalow. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay, just accept that address. Now, you notice if I come out here in the map, whenever I add a waypoint, it just assumes that's uh, the next waypoint, waypoint six. But that could have me going all the way back from Belfast, of course. Yeah, it has. So, but we would probably do that somewhere between uh, waypoint three and four. So I can take waypoint six. This is my waypoints down the side here. I'm going to take waypoint 6 and make it waypoint 4. So I'll hold it here, drag it up. I'm after 3. There we are. Route changed. Lovely. Lovely. And there's my modified route. And again, I get a route summary here on the left. Okay, it's currently 292 kilometers this route, just over three and a half hours. And if at any stage I decide, John phones me up, no, you can't come and visit me. I can just delete the waypoint and the map will reroute itself. So you can put as many waypoints in between as you like to force a route. Great stuff. So there we go. TomTom Tom Rider 550, wireless, my route app, create your route, set your waypoints, save it to your TomTom Tom My Drive account. If your TomTom 550 is connected to the wireless, a couple of minutes later, it'll be in your root folder. And away you go.